Welcome to Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. I'm Chef Allie along with my buddy Karen Hansen. I'm a high vee dietitian here in Manhattan. Yep, and today we are going to make a very special dessert. You know, the holidays right. are upon us whether we like it or not. And I don't know about your family, but my family always thinks that there has to be pumpkin pie Absolutely. at those holiday dinners. Right. But sometimes if you want your inner chef, mm -hmm. like we were talking about that earlier, to come out mm -hmm. in a little bit more of a um, pumpkin fun, flare. Yeah, a pumpkin flare <laughs> instead of your traditional pumpkin pie, what can you do? So today we're going to make a, if this is called a luscious pumpkin tort, mm -hmm. and it is luscious, and I'm promising you that when you make this for your guests, nobody there is going to know that it is also a low-fat dessert. Which is awesome because yes. the ingredients it uses as we go through these, mm -hmm. I'll kind of tell and, and share ideas on what okay. you could use that, that maybe helps the nutritional profile of this dish. Awesome. Okay. So to make the, mm -hmm. um, the actual tort, the cake part itself, it's a um, spice cake mix uh -huh. mixed with one can of pumpkin. Right. And pumpkin, right. we know, is super high in fiber and vitamin A and good stuff. So right. already you're enhancing. And by your, leaving out the eggs and oil, right. you're actually um, low fat, making a low fat cake as well. Right. And so what we're going to add to that is a half a cup of water. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be very thick. And then we're going to actually bake that just in two eight inch cake pans. Right. Two things that really make, um, make a difference in a cake, and my grandma taught me this, is a piece of parchment in the bottom of your cake pan because that ensures that your cake will always come out. Very in important piece. in one nice piece. <laughs> so it's worth it to cut a piece of parchment right. round, put that in there, and then spray that down really well with your um, nonstick baking spray. Then when your cake comes out of the oven, the other key tool is a piece of foil because the foil over the top of the warm cake all that condensation goes back down in there and keeps nice it super moisture. Yes, exactly. I can tell that you already Especially know. Especially because we're, we're using pumpkin, which is a great moist ingredient. Right. But we are leaving out the oil, which is what also, also adds contributes to, to that. Right. right. So here in this mixture, and Karen, I'll let you tell our viewers what's in here. We're going to take half of this and we want to put half of it on top of our first layer. This is delicious. This is actually a combination of, of four simple things plain Greek yogurt and the Greek yogurt is a higher protein um, I think you could use a vanilla Greek I think yogurt it's a great idea. if you yeah. want to but this happens to use plain and then it also is using just a box of sugar-free mm -hmm. instant I knew you'd like that yes cheesecake <laughs> flavored pudding mm -hmm. and we're actually um, got some cool whip mixture in there like an eight ounce container and then if you have during the holidays you know we have the um, wonderful French vanilla right cool whip so you can use that and then we also have this pumpkin pie spice which is pretty easy because it's a combination of four other spices do you remember cinnamon, what they are nutmeg <laughs> cinnamon nutmeg ginger and allspice allspice so in pumpkin pie that's right. what's in pumpkin pie spice you're so saying okay. saves you a step yes now we're all about easy and quick when it comes to the holidays because we don't want to just because um we don't have to have recipes that are labor intensive right. for them to be good. Especially during the holidays because yeah. we know everybody's so busy anyway. And so this is a great, and it's very showy. I think it's really good. You great. know, you could almost double it and do four layers. Yes, but then again. It slides. Well, it could slide, but mm -hmm. also it's just more work. <laughs> right. This is but, beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty. So on our top, we're going to go ahead. We've got toasted coconut. Karen's going to sprinkle that over the top. Um, very important to toast your coconut because coconut is an ingredient that has tons of fat in it. So if you toast it, that's going to magnify the flavor and you can use much less that way. So she's going to sprinkle that on. Here's our chopped cranberries. Isn't that, Isn't that pretty? Like the holidays. Yeah. It's I told beautiful. you you'd like this. Yes, yeah. it's gorgeous. And then our final ingredient is going to be our chopped pecans, which of course we toasted those ahead of time. And feel free to press this down as you're kind of going along. But isn't that a gorgeous holiday dessert. I don't think anybody would feel like you slided them if you made this for a holiday right. dinner. Who's going to guess that this is low fat? Nobody. Right. Absolutely. It's delicious. Yes. It's so, so there so you good. have it. The luscious pumpkin tort. Welcome back to Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. Yes. We're on to dessert number, number two. two of the pumpkin series. So we're glad you could join us um, here again. These are the pumpkin strudelines. Yes. This is my all-time favorite pumpkin dessert. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where this recipe came from, but it is fun to make. And don't get freaked out when you see the ingredients. Yes, it includes 
phyllo dough, or maybe you say phyllo dough. It's kind mm -hmm. of a you say tomato, right. I say tomato type thing. But that's what's uh, one of the main ingredients here. But we're going to show you how to kind of do it. That's a foolproof, right. almost right. foolproof way. It's not something you use real often, so it's awesome no. that you have used it a lot that you can give these great tips. Well, uh, we'll see what people <laughs> think. But so right over here we have our phyllo, and when you buy phyllo dough, can you hand me that yes. box, Karen? Mm -hmm. It's going to come in your freezer section um, at your favorite grocer um, and get that out and make for sure that it's thawed in plenty of time ahead. Keep it in the refrigerator. Then when you get ready to do this recipe, you're going to pull one of those rolls out of the package, mm -hmm. open it up, lay it out flat, and then you want to put a piece of saran wrap over the top of that, mm -hmm. a dry towel, and then a wet towel right. on top of that. And right. you will be surprised how much moisture that phyllo dough is going to draw out of that wet towel. Um, so I have that laying right over here. And that's probably one of the most common problems that people have is they don't realize how important it is to keep that moist, therefore it dries out and then it cracks and it falls apart. Exactly. And that's where all the frustration comes exactly. in. So if you keep that moist towel, mm -hmm. you don't have all that frustration. Mm -hmm. Right. So what we're going to do here on our work surface is we're going to place two pieces and you can see this one's already torn just a little bit don't worry about it don't stress about it just lay it down on there go back over though to your pile cover it up because we want to keep that moist over there while we're working here here's our pizza cutter and actually what we're going to do before we cut it in half is we're going to spray it with non-stick spray on the first side right keeps it moist again exactly we're going to flip it over and see how that tore right there don't worry just lay it back down spray it again you know, Allie, phyllo dough is a very low fat, makes a very low fat dessert because we're going to be, end up using one sheet, which is 35 calories Sweet. and no fat. So this well, is a great thing if, if you like pie, but we know the pie, pie crust is so annoying. high fat. But something like this takes a place and you still feel like you're really getting a special treat. Well, and don't you think as a dietitian too that mm -hmm. a lot of people think when they see that box, they immediately right. think puff pastry. Right. Totally There's different a deal. Right. Yeah. Puff pastry so I'm glad is you brought that up. Fat. So that, that's why you have to make sure and read that you're getting the phyllo dough, not puff pastry. Right. Because right. they're right beside each other. Right. Right. <laughs> very and, easy and to pick that up. And pastry is very high fat. It is. All that butter. Right. 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 Yes. So. so our two strips of phyllo, we've cut that in half lengthwise. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then here is our pureed pumpkin. We added a little bit of brown sugar to this, some pumpkin pie spice, a little bit of flour that's going to act as our thickener um, in there so that your pumpkin doesn't leak out mm -hmm. of your little strudels. Right. So we're going to put about two tablespoons of the pumpkin filling on the end of our strip. And then next comes the cream cheese, and I know you want yes. to talk about that. Well, cream cheese we know comes in fat-free, which you could use in this product. You could also use, which we're using today, the third less fat, fat cream cheese, right. which is what we call New Chatel. But that's this, this cheese product we're using. So you can vary that according mm -hmm. to what you want your end product to be too. Okay. On top of our cream cheese, we then put a little bit of cinnamon and sugar. And we've got our toasted pecans. Yes. Yay, and and here. wonderful to add nuts because we always toast those ahead so that they have great flavor. But we're adding fiber and protein and some great things too. So, you well, know, and you combine that with the pumpkin, which we know is high in vitamin A, which is uh -huh. great for your night eyesight. But it's also really high in antioxidants, which we didn't mention before. The pumpkin is? Yes. The, right. the orange pigment in mm -hmm. that pumpkin is super uh, antioxidant. Powder. So, of course, you look at the ingredients yeah. as healthy mm -hmm. how can they be helpful <laughs> I look at them how can they be yummy right. and when I look at the pecans uh -huh. with the cream cheese and the pumpkin uh -huh. I think how that's going to give great mouthfeel right. so we're going to have the creamy with the oh, crunch a little crunch yeah Absolutely. it's going to be luscious so what we want to do here is we're going to take okay. the end of our um, phyllo dough we're just going to fold it over that little blob of pumpkin and pecans and cream cheese and then at that point if you kind of turn your parchment a little bit so that you can work along the long edge of each one of those little um, strips of phyllo. So we're going to fold that over and then we're going to fold the other side over. All right. And then we're going to roll. Yes. We're going to roll with it. Just a fun little pocket. Yeah. So it's not cute. Very nice. Good job. <laughs> and on to our pocket. You've done paper. this a few times. I've done I can it tell. many, many times. <laughs> so we'll do that again here, real quick. Long strip, long strip the other way. And if these tear as you're going, it's kind of good to seal that as you fold it over. But if it tears, don't stress. Just keep going with it. Because you know what? Sometimes when you make a dessert, 
and it doesn't look perfect, guess what that says? Homemade. Homemade. Exactly. <laughs> you know. You're a this baker. would be a really fun recipe to do with kids, too. Yes. Really. Some yes, if you have the patience. Right. If Who the has the kids. patience? Not me. Send them to Karen's house. She has the patience. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to brush these with a little bit. Well, I am. Karen's not. Mm -hmm. I bet she's going to tell you otherwise. <laughs> you know, another option here, again, mm -hmm. to help with the calories yeah. um, and fat would be to use your spray. Instead of the just, butter. Yeah, instead spray of the butter, on. just spray that on those. Mm -hmm. Because next step is your cinnamon sugar. And it would stick to that just fine. Yes, it, it would. So you could cut out probably five, uh, three to five grams of fat just doing that. Well, and probably about 50 calories if yes, you think about exactly. it. So that yes. adds up quick. Yes. These guys are going to go into a preheated 375 degree oven. They're going to bake for about 20 minutes until mm -hmm. they're golden brown and crispy. And when we come back, you're going to get to see what they look like. Awesome. All right, so we're here to our third and final pumpkin dessert mm, in our trio, yes, which is pumpkin bread pudding. Just mm -hmm. came out of the oven. We had it in a nice water bath, which, is, of course, is going to keep it super moist, right. a great moist way of cooking. And um, Karen has a caramel sauce that we made ahead of time that she's actually going to dress it with. Yeah, now, beautiful. if you want to cut this ahead of time, portion it out onto your serving plates and then sauce it, you're welcome to do it that way. Or both. Or both. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Why not? But the sauce is kind of unusual. You'll enjoy this recipe because you infuse your cream with a little bit of star anise, some cloves, some cinnamon sticks. And you yes. used real whipping cream. I did correct? for that. Yes, I sure did. And um, then uh, there's also just a little bit of cider vinegar in it. So it's kind of an unusual combination of flavors. Delicious. Yeah, and it looks really pretty, I think. So mm -hmm. then our second um, dessert in the series is our pumpkin strudelines. And I have one of those here in my bowl, all baked, crispy, mm -hmm. golden brown, delicious. And here is some whipped cream that we're going to just top right on there. And then a little sprinkle of our pumpkin pie spice is how you would serve that or how I would very typically pretty. serve it. But one of the things I know that you want to talk about is how this is very, very fattening. Right, right. there is 50 cream. calories. Right. And I don't know how many grams right. of fat, right. but a ton right. of fat. So what are some alternatives? You know, so another option that I've used a lot of times is to take a yogurt, like a vanilla yogurt, mm -hmm. and just sweeten it with a little honey or oh, agave yeah. nectar. Okay. And it thins it down just enough. Then you can put nice, like a little glaze on that instead. Oh, all right. What a great um, idea. So that would be one way that you could really up the nutritional value and mm -hmm. down the fat value. Perfect. Very good. So our three recipes, the pumpkin bread pudding, the pumpkin strudelines, and then of course our beautiful, isn't that just mm, gorgeous? Beautiful. The luscious, low fat pumpkin tort. All of these recipes are available here in your Kansas Living publication that's going to come out in November. And you can also see the video of this at the KFB's YouTube channel. Right. So right. thank you so much for joining us here in Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen, where you can come get fed. Right.